Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for ya. Uh, one for the Faction Assault, uh, one high level team for the World Event, and one low level team for the World Event, as you guys have asked for. And I got it, and it's pretty good, and I might actually use it, use it over my high level team. I like my low level team. Uh, but first here is the Faction Assault, and then we'll talk about scoring for the World Event and everything. I mean, this is the most self-explanatory part, so let's get it out of the way. Also, uh, I need everyone to pray for somebody. Please, please pray for somebody. They've become a sinner. We have Ben Templar is now a sinner. He has joined the choir. He hit the blue join button. He became a member. He went in the link in the description. He clicked on that. Now is a sinner, Ben Templar. Thank you so much. Shout out to you, Ben. And that's 30. 10 more. And we got a six hour live stream. $1.99. Blue join button. Link in the description. Shout out to you, Ben Templar. Thank you so much. 10 more to go. I'm about to put some sort of time limit on that, though. We ain't going to take a year to get there, but we already got one, so I'm not complaining. Um, anyway, Faction Assault 4. What is this? The Deep Hive? Um, so using Boris Troll, King Gobtruffle, Queen Beatrix, and Doomed Glaive. Um, you could use two King Gobtruffles if you would like. You could use a Rowan with a Shield of Urskaya if you would like. Um, what else is available for this one? You could use a different weapon, that's for sure. Um, you could use two Queen Beatrix if you'd like. And what you need to do is just buy the first potion. That's all you need. I used to buy two now I only buy one, and as long as you do the every single room, one potion is enough. You only need to go to like level 90 or 100 or 110. It's somewhere around there. I still haven't nailed it down. I think it's like level 90-ish. You usually end up with like one extra sigil as well, even, even with just the first potion. So don't buy two potions unless you just want to make it go quicker, but it also is going to cost you an extra 70 gems or whatever, so... If you want to save 70 gems, just get the enchant potion and hit every single room in, in treasure multiplier order. I haven't tested that, by the way. That's just something that's been the word on the streets for years and years and years, ever since Delves came out. And, um, you know, somebody I trust said it. So treasure multiplier order, let's continue with that until we test it, and I will test it one day. So uh, treasure multiplier or order, do every single room, only need the first potion, Queen Beatrix, King Gobtruffle, Rowan, stuff like that. Here we are in the world of it. Uh, the first team is just the team I showed yesterday, so not too much to say here, but it does continue to work. Phonesia, Firebomb, uh, Fist of Heaven, Sunspear, Double Red, Double Green, Banner, and Mirage Queen. Uh, the hardest one to get there, obviously, is the Phonesia. But let's read about this... Uh, the, the scoring for this, since this team is like self-explanatory, Mirage Queen starts Phoenicia with half mana, Firebomb blows up, gives her the rest of the mana, you cast it, you win, if you don't, then you then you blow up uh, Fist of Heaven, it summons in another troop, it gets up Phoenicia again, you cast it again, like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Worst case scenario, you're summoning something in and casting Phoenicia again, it's not a big deal. But here we have the scoring for the Magic Mushroom event, or whatever it's called. So King Gobtruffle is worth 8 shells. Sir Snothelm is worth 2 spores. Fundingus is worth 4 spores. Explode Stool is worth 4 spores. And Fungomancer is worth 3 spores. So basically what you want to do, if you see a skull, you want to go after those. Like, they'll have either the two swords, the, the you know, the little emblem that shows up for whatever it is, no matter what the name is. It's either got the two swords or it's got the skull. The skull is always worth more. Always pick the skull. Like right there, we don't have any. But Sir Snothelm is worth the least. Never pick Sir Snothelm ever. He's only worth two spores for some reason. It's not in um, rarity order this time. It's more like if it has something to do with a mushroom, you get more points. But also, you need to do the skulls first. And King Gobtruffle's worth the most. So, once again, always do the skulls first. You can do those in rarity order. But then, with the, if it's the swords, you got you got to do Explode Stool first, or Fundingus. Then move on to Fungomancer, and then Sir Snothelm is worth the least. Never pick Sir Snothelm. Like right here, 
You know, you think I would have picked... You never know. I could have picked Sir Snothelm there. I mean, if we went in rarity order, he was the top rarity. Um, but no, it's Fun Dingus here. So sometimes you'll be picking uh, a lower rarity to get more points. Um, right there, we picked the Skull. So always pick the Skull. And King Gobtruffle is the boss. He's worth the most. Uh, second is usually, I think, either Fun Dingus or Explode Stool. Third is Fungo Mancer. So anything having to do with a fungo or a stool, you know, everything but Sir Snothelm. Sir Snothelm, just avoid him like the plague and you'll be fine. And all you have to remember, really, besides that, is uh, that Fun Dingus and Explode Stool are worth more than Fungo Mancer. So if it's between Sir Snothelm and Fungo Mancer, pick Fungo Mancer. But if it's between Fundingus, Explode Stool, and Fungomancer, pick either Fundingus or Explode Stool. Uh, they're worth exactly the same. So if you got Fundingus and Explode Stool, they're worth the same. Um, so really, the only thing you have to remember: King Gobtruffle is worth the most. Sir Snothelm is worth the least. Everything else is like a uh, super close. I mean, if you also want to remember that Fungomancer is the least out of the other three, then uh, remember that. But here is my low-level team. And it was working surprisingly well. This is super deep. I used all my sigils. I'm in like fourth place in my guild. Um, you know, it may, it may look like, hey, I'm not one-shotting or whatever, but I've only got one medal, I think. I don't, you know, eventually we'll have more medals. And I can't tell you that this will work on Sunday. Depending on how many medals you have, what kind of guild you're in, what day you're on, how far you're in, I can't tell you this. It's Tuesday. It's early Tuesday. This is working right now. I used all my sigils. I did everything I could almost besides buying a bunch of turns. And I'm not going to tell you, you only need this. Hair blowing back lightning bolts. No. Um, but yeah, Sun Sunbird it works well for low-level players. This team has nothing on it that's even close to a mythic. No mythics, no legendaries, no nothing. Just a couple Sunbirds. A firebomb and fist of heaven, which just came into the game. If you didn't get it, then you're doing you're playing the game wrong because I told you to get it. So unless you're like super new and starting right now, which probably means you're not going to go very far in this event anyway. If you're super new, so you're probably not worrying about it. Anybody that's worrying about this event should have the fist of heaven because it was just introduced like a month ago, and I was telling you to please get it because it's good. So. I don't even want to hear that in the comments that you don't have Fist of Heaven because that means you're just not listening to me and um, why are you even asking a question if you're not going to listen. So, yeah. So I'd do Sunbird. Uh, what I, I don't know what order I had it in. Sunbird, Firebomb, Fist of Heaven, Sunbird. And that seems to be working out pretty good. You know, you'll cast your Sunbird. It'll come back. Um, you'll blow up your Firebomb. That'll get up your other Sunbird. You'll cast that. Then you'll s cast your Fist of Heaven. It'll summon something into that slot where the uh, firebomb was and then you'll cast another fire fire uh, sunbird if you need to sometimes the sunbird will wipe it all out in one sometimes you'll only need the two sunbirds sometimes you may have to cast fist to heaven summon something into that second slot is it the second slot am i tripping nah okay firebomb and first sunbird fist to heaven sunbirds what i did either way though i think it'd be okay the only reason I did that is so that the enemy doesn't hit the sunbird, because it'll do less damage. So I put the firebomb in first, so it can take... If it needs to take a hit, it can. Because uh, sunbird does more damage based on its life. You don't want it getting hit, so put it in second slot, yeah. So firebomb, sunbird, fist of heaven, sunbird. And you can summon in some cool stuff, like mythics and everything, so... Anyway, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below. Uh, remember, 40 members, 6-hour livestream. Maybe whatever game you want, I'll do a poll. Peace.